Hey, this is Ryan Gordon, and I just wanted to show you something we're working on for Dragon Ruby. Now, most things nowadays want an Xbox controller, and Dragon Ruby itself is no different. Um, so when you plug in your PlayStation controller, your Xbox controller, you know, something like that, it just works and it knows what to do and it knows what all the buttons on it mean. Um, but occasionally you get a joystick it doesn't recognize, and to date we've just ignored it. But now we've added something I think you might like seeing, so I'm going to show it to you real quick here. Now this is Flappy Dragon, you've seen this game a couple of times, this is a quick demo thing. I'm going to go ahead and start this on the keyboard. You can see me flapping here in a moment when I hit the space bar. There we go. I'm terrible at this game, but I'll make it through the first. Hooray! Okay, good. Oh, no. Okay, there you go. Anyway, so I'm going to plug in a joystick that Dragon Ruby does not recognize. And here we go, I'm going to plug it in USB right now. There it goes. This is a very old Logitech uh, joystick. It does not look anything like a game controller, but just for the sake of argument, you can see this here. Now, as you can see, this interface is going to ask me to push each button so we can figure out boop, 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 like that. You can move the axes to set those things up, and blah, blah, blah. And since I don't actually have most of these buttons, I'm going to go ahead and hit space to skip most of them. There we go. And you would do this, and then you would be able to just hit these buttons here at the end just to see, make sure you got them the way you wanted them to be. Move some axes around, hit some buttons. There we go. All right, so now that we have that, I'm going to hit space, and it's going to save this configuration. And it's never going to bother me with this screen again. It's going to write it out the disk so it's there in the future. And the game's going to pick up exactly where it was. It goes and it pauses itself when the uh, thing is configuring. And then I'm going to just start hitting the A button right here. There we go. I'm doing this with the controller now instead of the space bar. Oh, I'm still terrible at it. Um, anyway, that's the idea of it. I think that'll be much nicer. You're no longer locked out if you can't uh, get your controller to work. You're empowered to make it work yourself now. And it's nice and easy. Ships with every game that is built with Dragon Ruby. So uh, go ahead, build some games that do this, and it'll be pretty cool. All right, thank you very much.